Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie and welcome to my channel. We are doing your weekly love reading, so let's begin. This reading is good for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you have your main energy, the Queen of Cups, then you have the Seven of Pentacles, the, six, the Nine of Cups, and then the Hanged Man. You could be dealing with the Pisces, or you could have those placements. Okay, we'll have three in that position. All right, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Capricorn, wait, give me a few seconds. I wanna adjust, I wanna adjust. Capricorn, your overall energy for this reading is the tower. So I'm getting you're not letting things crumble. You're not letting things crumble as they should be. You would understand. You would understand. You have to understand that when the universe, when spirit comes in and gives you a tower moment, they're making you realize the things that are crumbling. It means those things that crumble in your life lack solid foundation. But yes, that is the challenge. When you get a tower moment, you always get a wheel of fortune next. Why? Because that's when things start, you know, um, coming in. The luck starts to come in when the bad things are out of the picture. All right, not really bad things, but not really bad things, but you know the things that should not should no longer be in your life. Anyway, that was a, quite the explanation. So you have the nine, uh, the nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups as your overall energy for this reading. So you're surrendering to spirit. You have a cup of love that you want to offer, but you're surrendering it to spirit. Why? Because you know that spirit will bring you, the universe will bring you what is meant for you. You're no longer going to chase love. I'm hearing you're no longer going to chase love. You're no longer going to try and find it because love will find you. Because you've surrendered it to the universe, you surrendered it to spirit, and now you're getting it. So you have the Seven of Pentacles to the Knight of Swords. Someone ran away from this connection. Very fast. I'm hearing you're actually th you're actually assessing whether or not this relationship has grown to how you want it to wanted it to grow. I'm getting the energy where you feel that you wasted your time. You finally you realize at some point that you wasted your time on this person. You have the Nine of Cups to the Hierophant. You have the Nine of Cups to the Hierophant. So,
what I'm getting here is, well, two energies. Number one, you could be getting your wish granted about a higher form of commitment. But the second energy that I'm getting is that you're being a little bit too overindulgent. A little bit too overindulgent. That it's lacking you. I'm sorry, my knee is super itchy for some reason. That it's lacking you from ascending. There's overindulgence. But I'm getting an energy where because you surrendered yourself your you know desires to spirit, you're actually getting that wish granted. You have the hanged man, you're really reflecting. You're really reflecting whether or not what kind of person you want. But you know there's someone coming towards you. You're actually really reflecting if this is someone worth it. Why? Because this is someone who has left a situation. This is someone who's left a situation. Could be someone they're married with. Could be someone they have kids with. But they've ended a very painful situation to be with you. Their divine counterpart. And you saw me shuffle these cards. You saw me shuffle them. All right. Let's see the overall outcome. Hmm. The overall outcome is the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and then the Judgment card. So it's up to you to make a call. Are you going back to someone who has hurt you in the past or who's offering you a renewed cup of love, cup of love, cup of love, or someone who is very new, who wants to date you? It's totally your call, Capricorn. Totally your call. Let's see what is the additional advice for you. The advice for you is the star, the six of pentacles, and then the three of swords. I'm getting it. I'm getting that you are still very hurt about whatever happened to you in the past. You're still very hurt. And you have to heal that. You really have to heal that. And you have to understand the lesson that love is actually give and take. Equal give and take. So you have to understand that lesson. All right. Let's see additional messages that Spirit wants to tell you. All right. You have flexibility. Flexibility. Very beautiful picture. Flexibility. And then... You see how flexible these two are? <laughs> and that spirit there. You have no place like home, but it's in the reverse. And that is number 50. When we reduce it, 5 plus 0 is 5. So it's about conflict. No place like home. All right, give me a few seconds.
no place like home all right lovers friends and companion animals are at home in your life right now you are in sync and full of love and you can be secure with the knowledge that is reciprocated relationships elicit a sense of of emotional safety comfort and the best aspects of familiarity now be home in this relationship together you add to the love of the world so i hope something in this reading resonated capricorn if it did please give this video a thumbs up i would love it if you subscribe to my channel thank you so much for supporting me all the time i love you all i'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed